Okay, okay, okay. What, what are y'all grateful for? For me, you know, life itself, and my daughter, you know, my daughter's Yeah, I'm saying life for me too. Okay, what's a lifelong advice you wish you got when you were younger? Lifelong advice? Um, mm. Man, it's a, it's, it's, it's a good bit of advice that I've gotten when I was younger that definitely applied to my adult life, but... If I had to say... He said wish you had got or that you had got. Huh? He no, it's, it's a lot of advice that I did get when I was coming up that applies to me in real life now. Because, you know, when we're, when we're young and these older folks, these old school folks are trying to drop these gems on you and give you advice at a young yeah. age, you kind of don't understand that shit. At my young age, I kind of did, but not all the way, because I was always kind of advanced anyway. But once I got older and I started seeing shit for myself, like, one of the, one of the main things that old folks who tell you everybody is not your friend, stop smiling in everybody's face because everybody is not your friend. Hey, listen, right? That's why I just asked a while ago, did he say, what is some advice that you wish you had got? Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. What, what advice, what is lifelong advice you wish you got when you were younger? Oh God, God, my bad. Um, I wish I would have known about credit at an early age. I feel like credit and 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 you know like finances and stuff that needs to be taught to to kids to younger people. Fair, fair. financial literacy is true. Okay. Uh, who who? Oh, no, for real, for me, like. Mm -hmm. My mama schooled me, you know what I'm saying? Me and my mom are 15 years apart, so I don't know about, I, I don't know <laughs> about what uh, I wish I would have been told because I was told a lot. My mama started schooling me when I was like seven, so, you know. What's the best way, what's the best thing to say if someone rejects you? You, you mean like in life rejection or like relationship rejection? Uh, you know, both. Like jobs that reject you and stuff like that? So both. Not say nothing, move forward. That's all you can do, shit. Rejection is protection in my eyes. Sure, rejection is redirection. Okay. What does manip manipulation look like in a relationship? In a relationship? Um, a lot of playing victim. Yeah. A lot, a lot of uh, 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 yeah, revised psychiatry. Psychology and shit, you know what I'm saying? Psychology for facts. Mhm. Mm or they they claim they love you, love you, love you, love you, and they're like, oh, well, you know, I love you. This is, you know, why I, I do this. And I, I don't know why I do this, but I, I love you type shit. Like, nah, that's that's just pure manipulation. That's a whole lot of ways to be manipulated. Cause at the end of the day, if that motherfucker got your head gone, it's over for your ass anyway. What could a man do to truly make you happy? Stand on business. Say what you mean, mean what you say. See, my answers are short and sweet, baby. <laughs> That's all. Say what you mean and mean what you say. Okay. Uh, to be happy, um, my, I, my, I don't think my answers can ever be really that short and, and simple because I like for... I, <laughs> You gotta be God fearing, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta respect me as a person and be considerate of me. Because this is what I was telling people the other day. People don't consider nobody's feelings no more. They go out there and they do whatever they fuck they wanna do and don't care about who they hurt in the process. Be considerate of my fucking feelings, you know what I'm saying? Be respectful. And feed me. I like to eat, as you can see. Um, okay, okay. Okay, cool, cool. Um, you can only pick one. You, know, you can only pick one. 850 credit score, 5 million cash, or 6,000 a week. Mm. 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 Mm.
six k a week, five million k or eight fifty credit score. You said five million K. What is that? So is it five million or five million cash, eight fifty credit score, six thousand a week? Which one you choose? Uh, well, now, well, now that I know that five million, I go ahead and just take the five million, and I can use that money to fix my credit. I wouldn't take the five K a week or the six K a week because what if I died in a couple of weeks? Now I can't enjoy the fruits of my labor, so I'll take the five million. Okay. Okay. What about what about you, Birdie? Your room, Kyla. This is why you have a room. That one was a tough one for me. Yeah, choose something. Choose something. I'm not probably saying the same thing. Probably just saying. Okay. Because I was thinking of 6K because. Yeah. I would do what she did too. Okay, okay. Where's something everyone needs to hear? I love you. Mm. That or you, you matter or you're important. Uh, okay. Because there's a lot of broken people in this world. And it mainly be like the strong people that go through the most shit. And people don't be knowing we be going through the most shit because nobody really calls and checks on us. Hey, how's your mental health today? You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody really knows. Like, my, of course, my best friend, you know what I'm saying? But like, people, real deal, do not check on their strong friends. And it's facts. We check out to the to, to the people that we think is not as strong as us because we know they need it, but shit, we need it too. Would you rather have one million dollars or one million good friends? A million dollars, cause ain't that many real motherfuckers in the world. Okay. Okay. What about you, Birdie? Um, if we speaking, um, hypothetically. I don't say the friends. Is you really a child to be a drug dealer or have an only fans? <laughs> oh man. I, 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 I would be the dealer because I've been a dealer before and it's easy. I'm not doing the only fans. No, not you. He said your kid. Yeah, your kid, your kid, yeah. Oh, my kid. Yeah. I, shit, I'll show how to bag up a 3.5. Yeah, I'm going to say OnlyFans because, you know, half of the time you ain't even, I've seen bitches out there just selling feet pictures. But that, that drug stuff, you got to be looking over your shoulder, worry about the police. Yeah, man, nah. <laughs> But this stuff is different, you know what I'm saying? Like, they do have a website where you specifically can go on there and sell feet pictures. Like, literally, I would do oh. something like, you know, that. In that would be different. Interesting, interesting, okay. Uh, I really don't know which one to choose for real, because I, I don't even know how to feel about that, because I ain't got no damn kids. Okay, okay, cool. Uh, if your significant other needed to borrow 20000 but they couldn't tell you what it's for, would you loan it to him? No. Nope. Okay. That's what's and other like are we just dating or are we married and then if we are married i still need a reason why you need 20 fucking grand oh, damn. okay okay could you forgive your best friend for breaking your trust um i feel like a forgiveness is imperative for everybody and you're not just really forgiving the other person for them you're forgiving them for you like yeah i forgive you but i can't fuck with you the same what about you buddy uh depends on the situation what they did right honest about how long should you date someone before introducing them to your family mm. it kind of depends um that's kind of hard because my my parents, like, my mama, she always know, like, if I'm dealing with somebody or whatever, they be like, you need to bring them. Because my mama, she'll be like, bring them to the house. I want to I wanna take a peep at them. Because my mama could look at you one time and know if you ain't shit or not. But, like, just to be meeting my family, it'll, it might take some time. Because I don't want to introduce you too early, and then we don't last. Like, nah. Chill out. 
shit. Yeah, everybody know my damn family already. I ain't be introducing no damn body. But uh, but if they didn't know, um, I would say, um, I don't know. It would take a minute for somebody to meet my mama for real, cause I don't play by her. Okay. When you say a minute, how long is a minute? Years, weeks, months? Probably some months. What's the worst part of dating this generation? Uh, that people don't know how to add. They don't know that one plus one equals two. They think one plus one equals three and shit like that. Nah, you're not finna be, you know, with me and then with the next person. And then if you gotta choose between me and the next person, just go with the next person. So. Uh, I'll just say the question again. What is the worst part of dating? What is the worst part of dating this generation? Um, I think the worst part of dating in this generation, like I said previously, no nobody stand on business. You know, nobody means what they say and say what they mean. Like the shit, just full of lies. <laughs> you never know who nobody really is. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. What's a valid reason for ghosting someone after six months or more of dating? I'm in here having adult time. This is my third time telling you this. Of oh, dating. That's what you said. Yeah, or more. Or more. Um, in a situation like that, I would think um, a person is probably just battling between themselves about if they should go, if they should leave. Because sometimes, you know, people be having good qualities. But other things don't be there if you catch my drift. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? Or sometimes people just feel like they probably won't meet nobody else, so they just stay there. It's a lot of different reasons. If I had to go somebody after six months, it's just because, I don't know, because I wouldn't even wait that damn long to ghost nobody. Because if I don't want y'all, I don't want y'all. I ain't going to wait no six minutes. Mm -hmm. Trying to take, but I'm still trying to answer his questions. Don't answer, they're not pertaining to me. So, um, oh no, you go, you go, um, prodigy wise, still think about it. All right, P, all right, prodigy, what you got? I was kind of like in and out with my daughter, but, um, what was the question? What make you want to go somebody, uh, so somebody goes somebody after six months or more dating, what's a valid reason to go someone after six months or more of dating? Um, for me, it just probably just wasn't the right person. Yeah, if we're not like really aligned, you know what I'm saying? We want different things, or it's just like really not working, and I, I don't see a future with you. I think, I think the deal breaker would be like alignment. Like we want different things. This is not going to work. And I think also another valid reason is that your pain is trash. Like, and I'm not even waiting six months to tell you. Yeah, you feel me? That's why I say you might got good qualities, but you you, you lacking in other areas. Okay. But a lot of times, females will still hold on to a nigga because they good. You know what I'm saying? But it ain't yeah. gonna never work. It ain't gonna never work if, if well, that ain't no good. Well, one at a time, one at a time. What you saying? Who, me? Your, uh, people what you were saying? No, I was saying, like, um... Because I've been in a situation where I really like this guy, you know what I'm saying? He had all of the good qualities. He was a gentleman, you know what I'm saying? But the 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 physical part of it was trash. Like, I was so mis like sexually miserable. But I was being treated well in all other areas. I mean, don't you think you should have stayed there? Ain't nothing perfect. I mean, God. Right, no, damn. ain't no dude gonna stay with no woman with no trash-ass pussy, though. Exactly. My thing is, let's be real about the situation. We grow. Ain't nobody gonna be with nobody in their sex trash. And, and even if the oh, even yeah, if you trash, at least have some some good mouth. Oh, that's too superficial. So superficial. How's that superficial? Because at the end of the day, guess what? In general, hypothetically speaking, when it comes to y'all men, y'all men not gonna be with no bitch that whose coochie is bad. And but truth be told. We get wet off of how turned door we are with you. Y'all just be thinking people got bad poon nanny, and it's not even the case. But if, if a bitch don't give head and she don't cook, guess what? You go disqualify her and go find the next bitch to do it. 
Two best friends. Okay, okay, mm-hmm. okay. Every friend don't get the same first name. So it's kind of, it, it, I don't even know how it's really possible first to have, team. you know what I'm saying, to have so many best friends. I can see if you got a best friend or two and then like a circle of people that fuck with you. But that goes back mm-hmm. to the, in the beginning, like everybody really not, I don't put nothing past nobody. I don't care how cool we are. See, like me, like my my group of friends, I could literally say I trust them bitches with my life. Like I put money on it, you know what I'm saying? Because I just know them bitches, you know what I'm saying? We've been friends for so long. And don't get me wrong, I know people can do you dirty. And this, that, and the third. That's why you got to be careful with the people that you fuck with and just surround yourself with. Me, my bitches are genuine, just like me, heart of gold. You know what I'm saying? That's probably why at, at every stage of the point of my life, like, when I was working certain places, I met this one girl. We stayed friends for, like, seven years. That's still my bitch to this day. T- got a friend 17 years ago. Still my girl to this day. Another one 12 years ago. Still my girl to this day. Fix, fix, fix. Okay, okay. Do you believe it? Do, what do, ass, though? But, uh, do you believe really love at first sight? What about you, uh, Barry? Uh, it, it probably could be possible. I ain't gonna say I don't believe in it because I never experienced it, but I do know people that have. So, you know, I, I can say, yeah, I believe in it because I have seen it happen plenty of times. Like, what are the disadvantages of dating you? Disadvantage of dating me? Yeah. Um, I'm always on the go. Okay. You want to go going where? Shows, vacations, you know what I'm saying? Like, I do a lot of going to different um, states and towns and shit, different studios, meeting up with different artists, performing in different states and stuff. So that occupies my a lot of my time. Uh, what about you, uh, P? Um, I think I would say like I'll say two disadvantages. One, you can't lie to me because I'm gonna find out. I I dream about shit. I'm too like um. Don't don't think you're just gonna be able to lie to me because I'm gonna call you out of your face. I'm, I'm really gonna call you out of your face. But, uh, but another disadvantage to me, like I'm real, I'm I'm blunt. Um, I don't think a lot of people can take what I say and you know not get offended but or get upset but my mouth can be a disadvantage and I'm not even disrespectful I'm just blunt I know how to be blunt with you and and not hit below the belt and people don't like me for that and I don't care so Uh, do you believe jealousy come in jokes definitely yeah, the shade always be in the joke. Sometimes you just gotta pay attention. You can tell when somebody is genuinely joking with you, but then you can you can tell when somebody is like low key throwing shade. And the ones that be low key throwing shade, I don't fuck with them no more. You got one time to show me you acting funny, and I will cut you off without even telling you that I'm cutting you off. You'll figure it out. You grown enough to figure it out, cause I shouldn't have to tell the next grown motherfucker what they did. Yeah, uh, that's it. Everybody cut off game strong this year. Just got strong. It been strong. It been strong like this for a couple of years because and when you get older, you get more mature, you're wiser, and you know right from wrong. You're not gonna keep putting up with the same shit over and over. So guess what? What about you, Birdie? What? Okay, what you say? What? What you say? Oh man, I forgot to go. Do jealousy come in jokes? I don't know. I answered that as soon as you said. I said I just said simply yes. Okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, throwing shade, throwing shade. Okay, okay. Man, what advice would you give someone looking for love? Um, me personally, I would tell a person that's looking for love, first thing you got to do is pray. You feel me? You have to completely pray to God, tell God exactly what you are looking for. And when I say tell them exactly what you're looking for, tell them exactly what you're looking for, it starts right there. And you and let the rest just follow, you know what I'm saying? You don't go looking for nothing. If a person ain't meant for you, you'll get them. That's just, that's just my opinion, though, you know. And to piggyback off of what Bertie said, when it comes down to dating, you really have to use your discernment out here nowadays because and you have to look for the red flags because if you don't, you're just going to be looking at all the good things about this person, not even realize what could potentially be going on, you know what I'm saying, like on the other side with this person. But definitely use your discernment when it comes to people because a lot of people really don't be out here to... Um, to really date for love, people be looking for stability. Right. Okay, what's the easiest way to catch a liar? I'll let you take that one, Prodigy, because you were just talking about that. Prodigy in heaven. told me six months ago is what I remember and then if you come to me and you know what I'm saying like I'm gonna tell you that you're a fucking liar in your face calling a person a liar in their face you don't know if a person is lying if they react a certain way and they get defensive mm -hmm. they lying but you got some people that be like but no I'm like I'm like real deal telling you the truth this is what happened even though they still could be lying, but you call a motherfucker a liar to their face and watch, and watch them get mad. Okay, okay. Facts, facts. Okay. Um, basically, what I was about to say as well, you just let them keep talking, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> After a while, they'll stumble up on whatever. Me, personally, y'all, like... I don't know, y'all. I just got to an age now where I just don't be giving a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like... I just don't give a damn what nobody got going on. I don't know. You ain't gonna lie to me, honey, because you ain't never gonna be in my face anyway. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Thanks. Uh, 